Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy and today I'll be showing you how to beat the easter egg and how to build the shield in the Black Ops 3 custom zombies map, Chili's Zombies Beta. I'll be making a separate video on how to do every side easter egg for this map, so subscribe if you're interested. And now without further ado, let's get into it. The main easter egg is pretty straightforward, but here's how to do it if you need help. Also, according to the map maker, there will be more added to this easter egg in the future, so when that happens, I'll update you guys. First thing you'll want to do is turn on power. Power is found in the kitchen through the door near Stamina. Next, you'll need to interact with the strike team console, found on the desk across from Jug. Interacting with the console will cause a lockdown, and you will need to fill the PC with souls. Once you've filled it with enough souls, interact with the console again to establish a connection. You will now need to call the elevator at the back of the restaurant. Calling the elevator will cause it to crash. To fix it, First, interact with the maintenance door to the right of the elevator. An Among Us guy will spawn, blocking the door. Interact with him to ask him to move. Interact with him two more times until he tells you to find his drip. Drip is apparently shoes, so look around the map for a large pair of red shoes. I've seen them at the bar, on the table in the center dining area, or on the tables by the bathroom. Give him his drip and he will give you a code, which you will need to use on the panel in the kitchen. Inputting the code correctly will unlock the bottle of neem oil. Pick it up. You will now have access to the room to the right of the code panel. Enter in and place the oil on the mini teleporter pad. Then press the button on the right to start the expansion sequence and trigger another lockdown. Surviving for 50 seconds will spawn a max ammo and open up the room with a pool of oil. Jump in. This will teleport you to a long hallway with doors. Knock on a few doors until you get the message you shouldn't be here. If you knock on the doors 153, a surprise will happen. You will be teleported again to the same hallway, but it is now lit up with red lights. Turn around to see a large photo of a guy and him saying run. Quickly, start running to the portal at the end of the hall. If he catches up to you, he will kill you. Playing on solo will end the game, since any area behind the image is insta-death. Jumping through the portal will teleport you back to Chili's, and you can now find a glowing jump pad outside. Take the jump pad to the inside of the maintenance room and pick up the cog from the table. Place the cog on the elevator to fix it. You can now take the elevator. The power will shut off upon reaching the bottom floor. Find the glowing ritual circle on the floor to awaken the Weston Hotel. Then head to room 237. The man in there will tell you to talk to the bartender. Head to the other area of the hotel and talk to the bartender. He will give you his employee keycard. Take the keycard to the Chili's kitchen and use it on the keypad next to power. You will now need to watch the instructional employee video. It will tell you how to make a burger. You can skip this video by interacting with the kitchen island. You will need five ingredients for the burger. The lettuce, cheese, top bun, and bottom bun are found in the ingredients fridge that is now opened, and the burger patty is found in the fridge next to the bowie knife. Once you have all ingredients, you can start cooking the burger. Find the stove with the pot and interact with it to start cooking. This will cause a lockdown and you will need to survive for one minute. Once you finish cooking the burger, you will now need to assemble it. You can find the order to assemble the burger all around the kitchen. You will need to interact with the ingredients in the order shown from top to bottom. If you assemble the burger incorrectly, a panzer will spawn and you will need to defeat him before you can continue on. Once you've assembled the burger correctly, pick it up and head back down to the hotel. Take the burger to room 237 to finish your delivery. You'll be transported back to the school hallway. Wait around until a door opens and then enter the door and you'll be brought back to the hotel. You will now have access to the teleporter and pack-a-punch. The link for the mainframe is found under the boxes outside the main entrance to Chili's. In order to build the shield, you will need to find three parts. The face piece, the back plate, and the handles. The face piece is found either on the couch at the Chili's entrance, between two of the tables not far from the maintenance room, between the two tables behind the wall where the shield building table is, or against the wall across from where the shield building table is. The back plate is found either in the kitchen against the stoves, in the oil expansion room, or in either the left or the right bathroom at Chili's. And the handles are found to the left of Speed Cola or the right of Speed Cola. Once you have all three parts, you can build the shield at the build table near the Chili's entrance. When you're ready to end the game and have made it to at least round 15, head to room 234 and pay 153,000 points to escape. You can pay this intermittently and knifing the door will tell you how many more points you need. And that's it. I'll be doing more easter egg guides in the future so subscribe if you're interested, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!